Rancho Tehama Reserve is quiet. Every morning it's a ritual. You hear the school buses start up. A community just shy of 1,500. 144 kids go to school there. Feeling deep loss. Just a normal day, you know, a beautiful sunshiny day. And all of a sudden, you know, the bullets are flying. Chuck Brule is within steps of Rancho Tehama Elementary. The windows and shattered glass, remnants of a rampage. Those are like family. Those kids over there are just, I mean, I'll tell you how tore up I was last night. I ended up crying. The children's lives spared, but six people are now dead. The gunman's wife found underneath the home floor. My first interaction with that guy was, hey, why don't you stop hitting her, you know, and walk away. That was the first day I met that guy. Jesse Sanders is two doors down. A mother and son shot dead, his best friend. They're on their way now to identify the bodies. I guess they wouldn't let me go because I'm not family, so. Once calling the gunman a neighbor. I mean, he had blue eyes when I first met him, but I swear every time I seen him after about three months of living here, they changed. The color of his eyes changed. Like they went dark. Like. Remembering every person killed. I just kept seeing that woman that they left in the ditch up there. That one got me because she was shot in the back. She was shot, she was shot running away from and you know. She's already leaving. Jesse tried to distract the gunman, becoming a target and getting shot. But it's the memories that hurt most. How did you sleep last night? I didn't. I got maybe 20 minutes. I couldn't. Every time I closed my eyes, I would. Classrooms now empty in a town mending from violence. In Tehama County, Vicki Gonzalez, KCRA 3 News.